Rapper Cardi B has secured a legal victory in the ongoing lawsuit brought by a female security guard who alleged physical and verbal abuse by the artist in 2018. The court has granted Cardi B's request to dismiss one of the lawsuits, marking a development in a legal battle. According to court documents obtained by Radar Online, a Los Angeles Superior Court judge agreed to dismiss the false imprisonment lawsuit filed by Imani Ellis, the security guard who filed the lawsuit. In addition, the court decided to extend the trial date from February to April in 2020. Ellis claimed she approached Cardi B while working as security at a medical building and asked for a photo of herself. The situation escalated into an argument, with Ellis claiming Cardi B physically assaulted her using racial slurs and profanity. The lawsuit also claimed that Cardi B's actions led to Ellis being fired from her job. One important detail in the incident was Cardi B's alleged pregnancy with her daughter culture at the time, which was not revealed publicly, Ellis confirmed that Cardi B's team took advantage of the rapper's famous status to influence her. Termination While the lawsuit seeks unspecified damages, Cardi B has vehemently denied all allegations. Police are investigating an alleged shooting incident on the estranged couple's property. Cardi B and her husband Offset have reportedly fallen victim to the growing trend of swiping scams. Swatting is the criminal act of tricking emergency services into sending law enforcement or medical assistance to someone's home, often. The reports are gruesome and extreme, such as acts of terrorism hostage attempts, bomb threats, murder or severe mental health concerns. Yesterday, January 8th, TMZ obtained body camera footage of an incident in August 2023 where a SWAT team sent to investigate an alleged shooting at the rapper duo Sandy Springs. Georgia, home, police were greeted on the road by Offset's uncle, Derek Cephas, who called his nephew and told him someone said Cardi got shot. Offset was confused, saying, My brother, my daughter, we are here in Los Angeles. These are some fake calls from fans. This is fake. The rest of the video shows off set, Cephas and police discussing the prank call. The set it off rapper tried to argue that police didn't have the right to be on his property without a warrant, but out given the nature of the allegation, the SWAT team said they were right. The now estranged couple are part of a long list of celebrities affected by swiping pranks. Last year, armed police surrounded Nicki Minaj's home twice. The actress has now taken legal action against the alleged scam caller, Stephanie Bell. In recent years, multiplication has become widespread in the gaming community. The most famous streamer to be trolled is Adin Ross, who has been targeted more than 10 times in the past two years. Last month, fellow Isho Speed was beaten twice in one week after purchasing a new home. There were other streamers affected, like Ali Straza who was handcuffed alongside her entire family during the live stream. Clara Kevall Sorrenti was also trolled during the broadcast. Before claiming it was the latest in a campaign of transphobic harassment she has been subjected to. Last July, a man was sentenced to three years of community service for ordering a raid on Ubisoft's office in Montreal. Al Muncha allegedly said he would blow up the building if they paid him a $2 million, 1.5 million pounds. Ransom, in other news, Cardi B publicly announced her split from Offset last month. Fans thought she was lying after she was seen hosting a New Year's Eve event with her husband. However, she said via X, Twitter Spaces live stream that the pair still need to work on their stuff. Cardi B swears she and husband Offset are over despite their last encounter, but several insiders say that may not be the case. Cardi says she's done with Offset even after they hooked up on New Year's Eve. But friends aren't convinced, a source reveals exclusively in the new issue of Us Weekly, adding that the pair have a troubled relationship, that's the pattern with them. He's a serial cheater. She flipped out but then went back to him. Cardi, 31 confirmed in a December 2023 live broadcast that she had been single for a minute following her. Split from Offset, 32, she added, I'm curious about a new life, a new beginning, I'm excited. 
However, weeks later, she told fans that she and Offset reunited on New Year's Eve. Was I hanging out with baby daddy yesterday? Yeah. Did you get it yesterday or sure, babe? Cardi revealed during a January 1st live chat on X formerly Twitter, I need something for New Year's Eve. Feels like it was yesterday. We had a good time. Cardi indicated at the time that she and Offset had not yet reconciled. But a second source tells us that the Bongos rapper is willing to give their relationship another shot. She's hopeful for the kids that they can make it work, the insider says, referring to Cardi and Offset's to Children, Daughter Culture, 5, and Sun Wave, 2. If you find this content suitable for you and you will like to have more contents like this please take some time to subscribe, turn on notification button so that you will be the first to watch the next video, like, comment and share this video. Thanks for watching.